Hi and welcome to Rainy Dewey's Art Spot. My name is Lorraine and my nickname is Rainy. You can call me Rainy. Um, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is the second part of a pencil drawing series that I started on June 10th. It's a continuation of uh, Marin Colt drawing. The first video included the initial line drawing and this video is the beginning of the shading and value work. To bring this drawing to completion, it's likely going to take some time. I'm not sure how long. So far I've already probably got about two hours into it. I'll be posting a video periodically to track my progress and um, give you a little insight into how easy or hard it's coming along. This Marin Colt belonged to a friend of mine, Karen. Um, the Colt, he was named Ivan. He had such a great personality. He was so friendly. Um, I was lucky enough to spend some time on Karen's farm and I took a series of re reference photos. Um, shamefully, that was many, many years ago and I'm only now getting to it. The thing is, I know the delay is not because I didn't have the time. I think it's more likely that I just plain avoided the subject matter on purpose. There's really no good excuse because I love horses. I always have. I even dreamed of having a horse of my own and I did have a horse for a few years. I used to draw them all the time when I was a kid. And so I've got to think to myself, what gives? I mean, why have I been avoiding doing a drawing or painting of a subject that I love? I've given it a lot of thought over the past few days and I've come up with some possible reasons or should I say excuses for avoiding uh, this subject and other subjects. And what I've come up with so far is that this drawing, um, I've been avoiding it because it would require too much from me. Too much energy, too much concentration, too much observation, and too much time. And I think the biggest thing is that it would test my skill and determine whether I had talent or not. Um, this is a subject that would require me to slow down and to take my time to get it right. And this drawing will likely take many hours to complete. Um, I follow some really great artists on Instagram and there's this one guy um, T. Allen Lawson, who recently posted this absolutely stunning pencil drawing of Cottonwood Tree. The texture of the tree, the scope, the softness of the graphite on the paper. It was just beautiful. And it was a, a large drawing, as I recall. My stuff tends to be really, really small, so this one was much, much larger. And in the description it said, um, that he'd worked on this drawing over the past three years. And I thought, wow, <laughs> now that's a commitment to getting it just right. It's obvious he didn't rush the process like I do most of the time. As I think back over the years, I feel like I've been always been in a hurry, rushing through life really. Sometimes I'd find myself rushing through things when there was really no need to and when I was younger raising a family and working full-time and trying to do the art everything seemed rushed and it likely was there was a lot to do there was a lot going on back then um, thankfully God gives us the energy during those years to somehow do it all looking back I wonder now if all that rushing was necessary and whether I could have slowed down just a bit just kick it back a notch. I know those years are done, but I asked the question because all these years later, I noticed that I'm still in a hurry. It's like I become conditioned to hurry through things, to hurry through everything. Even things that should be savored and enjoyed slowly, just for the process. Like, like our art. I, you know, a day to day description might be you rush to work, you rush home. You rush to prepare your 30 minute meal. You rush to clean the house. You rush to appointments. And I just think, how can we make it all stop? I think I may have been rushing through the creating of my art 
I think it might have started um, when I started showing my artwork in these outdoor venues. At first I didn't sell much, so I was taking home everything I had brought with me. But eventually I began to sell a few things, and I'm wondering if that's where the rushing through my art process began. I remember feeling this push to produce something new for each show. Now that was a self-imposed um, thing that I created in my own head. And then the next show, I felt like I needed to have something new just in case I might sell something. And that pressure began to mount. And that's when I discovered that landscapes could be produced relatively quickly and they required less concentration and focus. And then therefore they required less time. And I'm wondering if that's where if, that's, if that was the beginning of this rush job in my artwork, motivated by sales, money, I, I began to tackle less complicated subjects and then I began repeating myself with my art. I'd paint the same things with slight variations over and over again. And with that, at times I would begin to lose my enthusiasm and then I would just stop painting for a while. I would never quit, but I would stop for, you know, lengths of time. I, I recently began looking through this stack of old paintings and drawings, and I discovered that back in the beginning of my art journey, it looks like I actually was more courageous than I have become. I would tackle really complicated architectural subjects, and I drew a lot of horses. And so, this brings more questions to mind. Is the reason I rushed through my art because of fear? Or is it a lack of commitment? Would I rather be doing something else, something easier like weeding the garden? Or maybe I just, maybe I just want a great outcome without doing the work. And we all know that that's never gonna happen. The drawing I'm working on here has taken me a couple of hours so far, and it's a long way from being done. My pencil drawing style is to use, uh, I love to use this smooth Bristol paper. It's white, it's not tinted, so that means that all the values need to be laid in with your pencil. It's a long and slow process, and sometimes I do tire of it, and um, but I know if I want an outstanding final drawing, I need to put in the time, I need to put in the work. I need to avoid stopping and just push forward to completion. I know that I also need to work consistently on this work and steadily. If I put it aside for a week, that would be a mistake for me because I don't have good work habits in place yet. So if I set it aside, it will be very difficult to step back into the drawing later. So I need to avoid that in, in order not to toss this thing in, in the pile of half-finished half work. I need to push myself, no matter how long it might take. And then there's um, a time when in a painting or drawing I might hit the wall, where I'll look at it and I'll think this is nothing like what I hoped it would be. but. I need to push through that. No quitting is allowed. I need to talk turkey myself and just get tough. I know it might not be easy or come easy, but sometimes the good stuff, the hard stuff, needs to be really pursued. And if I hope to do great work, I absolutely must settle down and concentrate and do the work. No rush jobs, no fear, no choking, no quitting. I ask myself, am I capable? Am I capable? Yes, I'm absolutely capable. And when I need, to, and when I get to a stage where I'm beginning to feel frustrated, I need to remind myself that great work takes time. It just takes time. So the key here is to stop rushing start to focus, really get focused and committed, and the rewards will come. 
and maybe I'll end up with a sweet, sweet drawing that I am proud to sign. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I'm not giving a lot of commentary about the process here, but if you do have questions about what pencils I'm using and how I go about um, working through, please leave a comment. I'd be happy to answer. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.
it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Lucky